Danny says, which keywords and pages should I target when building links, specifically for semantic links? Well, uh, Danny, I teach this a lot in Mastermind, but if you structure your site properly, then it really doesn't matter where you build links, which is why this kind of a site structure that I was showing over here is so powerful because they're, the way that this site structure is built is it's basically one big reciprocal link. Every single page on this link, or this, excuse me, every single page on this site links with internal links to every other page on the site. Does that make sense? So it doesn't really matter. And when the site is structured this way, it doesn't matter. But when we have kind of a more traditional site structure, um, then what I recommend is to be more efficient with your with your budget is to, it, again, it depends on the internal linking. But if you have silo structure built into the site, depend on the t way you have the internal linking scheme of the site. I, I, I recommend doing a top-down link, internal linking approach um, instead of a bottom-up which is 180 degree difference from what I used to do for many, many years. I always did the the, the bottom up linking scheme of internal linking, um, which I, I've talked about this before, but that was because for, for many years, all we did or all I did for my own agency to get results was syndication networks. And then we would, we would spam the hell out of the syndication networks with bulk spam links just to power them up because they were all branded web twos that were, uh, you know, high authority, high domain authority properties and all that kind of stuff. So they could take kind of kitchen sink spam links. And we would do that just to kind of manipulate or pump boost domain authority and DR and all that, the way that you can manipulate all those metrics. And we would do that and it would, they would become very, very strong. And then we would just publish content from the main money site blog, which would then syndicate through an RSS feed and IFTTT to all of those branded assets. And that worked forever. So that, but that was a bottom up link approach because that was wh where all the link juice was flowing was from the lowest level of the site upwards through internal links that would always flow up to the top level pages because we would syndicate the post to the branded network. The branded network would have all the backlink juice flowing into it because that's what we used as our link targets for many years. I Now for the last two, almost three years now, I have gotten away from that. Because I found that you know the type of linking does not work, that uh, spam, bulk spam doesn't work, at least not not the way it used to. Um, and I started testing, and I found that relevant links perform so much better, and you need a lot less of them. So that's why I started Semantic Links. So when I started that and started testing with it, obviously when you're buying higher, you know, priced links, it's hard to do a lot of link building unless you got a big budget. So to be more cost effective, I started restructuring my own, and through testing, by the way, I started restructuring my own sites that um, had the traditional, in traditional for me, bottom up linking approach to a top down linking approach. Because with direct, when you have a silo structure, guys, where depending on where you're linking to, like how deep into the silo, right? So if it's a complex silo, which has top level categories um, and in subcategories and ultimately posts, you go three levels deep. Well, obviously you'd have a you could potentially have a whole lot of posts, which the, all of those are separate link building targets if you have the bottom up link and link internal linking scheme. Um, so you would need a lot of you have a lot of target URLs that you need to hit with links. But if you do it the other way, which is why I changed 180 degrees, like I said, my own kind of link, internal linking structure from a top-down approach, which means all of the top level pages then link down to their supporting pages. And if there's if it's a complex silo structure, which means it's three layer, layers deep, ultimately the last layer being posts, then the subcategory pages will link down to the supporting posts, et cetera. And that way you can link to any one of the, what I call directory pages, or you can call them folders or whatever you want. Uh, but uh, you know, if, if I'm looking at the top level topic or category page that then links to subcategories and then the subcategories link to their supporting posts, if I link to the top level page, because of the internal linking, it's flowing downward to all of the supporting subcategory pages. And ultimately through the subcategory pages, internal links that are linking to their supporting posts. Do you understand? So what, what I recommend is always try, if depending on the structure of your site, that's the whole point. Like, what are the best pages to hit with links? It depends. It always depends. It depends on the structure and the internal linking scheme, right? And also distribution, analyzing kind of the backlink profile of the entire domain and then trying to identify how are the distribution of links already spread out across the site? Are there pages that are being underutilized? Uh, are there pages that are being overutilized? Um, so again, which pages or posts should we hit on the site? It's, it depends. There's a lot of analysis or a lot of variables that would determine what is the appropriate answer for that. Uh, but as I was saying, for specifically, I, 
you know, this type of a structure here eliminates all of that additional complexity as far as which pages should you hit. Because the, this, pay, this site here, this type of a structure, which I just showed you guys at the top of this, uh, the type of um, ranking results that this type of a structure can get even with no links. So when you start to hit this with links, which by the way, I haven't started hitting it with links for a reason, because I wanted to see how well I could get this to these these sites to perform before I started hitting with them with links. Uh, but this type of a structure, because every single page links to every other page on the site, you can hit any page on this site with links and it's going to flow throughout the entire site. Do you understand? So the, the short answer is it depends. The long answer is uh, what I just gave to you. And the best answer is have a site structure like this, that then it, it doesn't matter which page you hit, it's going to flow through the entire site. That makes sense. And then in that case, all I would look at is distribution. So uh, in Majestic, I'll go look at the domain, not the URL, but the domain. In this case, it would be a subdomain. And then I would look at the go to the pages tab and look how at the referring domain column to determine if there were certain pages on the site that were being, oh, like the homepage should always have the most links and that's normal. To you, if, uh, but then uh, like service pages and or service or location pages, service area or location pages, I would look to see, you know, are there certain pages that I've hit? Like, for example, this particular area, Grundy would be the most populous area. None of these are very populous, but it, this would be the most populous area. So perhaps that uh, location page would, would have been hit with more links than other pages because it's more competitive. So I might look in this case at other pages and say, okay, well, like Hurley doesn't have any links or it only has one and this one has 12. So therefore, if I'm going to build links, I'm going to hit this page with a couple of links. But because of this structure, any one of those pages is going to flow through to all the other pages anyway. Does that make sense? So um, standard answer, SEO answer is it depends. <laughs> but I always try to, and I try to explain this to link building clients too, is like, hey, listen, if you guys, if you, if you, a lot, especially with people that purchase audits, if I go through an audit, because I do give some site structure um, recommendations as well as page st structure and well, title structures really on, and uh, uh, you know, I mentioned that like, Hey, link building can be a lot more cost effective if you have the proper structure to the site is what I try to explain. Um, so hopefully that's clear. All right. Think about it, guys. We want to try to stretch that dollar as much as possible. That's how you increase your margins as an agency owner, right? Try to get the best, the most effect with the least amount of resources so that you can increase your margins. So you become more profitable. <laughs>